Hello everyone. Today I am going to show the installation of the Breeze Heat Electric Fireplace TV Stand LED Entertainment Center. The Fireplace Entertainment Center comes in two separate boxes. The first box contains the electric fireplace and you have to open it with care because it's fragile. The second box has all the materials to build the table entertainment system. The instruction manual shows a detailed list with pictures of what is included. The parts of the entertainment system are labeled with numbers 1 to 16 and the hardware materials are labeled with letters A through M. The system requires a two-person assembly and your Phillips screwdriver. To start, you can organize your materials by number. For step one, you need eight pieces of the cam lock screw labeled C. You simply push it into the hole and make sure the plastic is flat. Then you grab your Phillips screwdriver and tighten it until all the way down. You repeat this process for both of the long boards labeled nine. This will leave you with a total of eight cam lock screws. For step two, we need four of the labeled 10 boards. To connect the furniture, we will use cam lock nuts labeled B. On the lock nut, there is an arrow. You have to point it in the direction of the opening so that it can connect to the cam lock screw. Once the cam locks are aligned, you can connect the materials. To lock everything in place, you use your Phillips screwdriver. For step three, we will need 12 cam lock screws. This will go on the board labeled three. One simply repeats the process of placing them in the openings and using a Phillips screw to tighten them. For step four, we will need to connect our step two with step three. This will require 12 pieces of cam lock nuts. The arrows have to align the opening to the screw and then when it is placed, we can use our Phillips screwdriver to lock them in place. Step five, we flip the bottom of our table over and connect eight pieces of cam lock screws. Step six, we will be preparing the middle of the table. For this, we will build two pieces, two squares labeled six and two thin rectangles labeled 11. They will be connected by the pegs labeled A. We'll need a total of four pegs. Step seven, we will need two more pegs and four cam lock nuts labeled B. Now we snap on the middle to the bottom of the board. If it does not go on easily, check the arrows to see if it is pointing downward. Once it is aligned, we use our Phillips screw. Now it is locked in place. For step eight, we need four cam lock screws, four regular screws labeled H, and two pieces of M1. M comes together with two pieces, but we only need the magnet for this time. This hardware will go on the rectangular board labeled number two. Here, there are two tiny holes where the magnet is to be secured with two screws from label H. Then we use our screwdriver to tighten everything else. Now ready for step nine. For this, we're going to need four cam lock nuts and two pegs. After placing the pegs, you can add the plank labeled two. Make sure that your arrows are aligned and the pieces will connect. The last step is always to lock your pieces with the screwdriver. Step 10, we need the boards labeled 16. These boards simply slide in the back slots. Now ready for the sideboards. Two screws will go on the board labeled 4 and two screws will go on the board labeled 5. Step 12, we will be placing the ends of our furniture. We need eight pieces of cam lock nuts. Put the ends in position and then lock it with your screwdriver. Step 13, 
we place four camlock screws on top of the middle board labeled number two. Step 14, we will use four camlock nuts to connect boards eight and two. Step 15, we'll take the boards labeled 14 and 15 and slide them into their slots. Step 16 is the top of the table. We need eight pieces of camlock screws. And for step 17, we will need eight pieces of cam lock nuts. You can now place the top and lock the furniture together. The structure is now ready for the shelves. We use eight pieces of brackets labeled K and the shelves are labeled with a number seven. Here you have the choice to choose the height of your shelf. You can pick one of three levels. 19 is to set up the installation of your doors. You'll need four pieces of screws labeled H, two bronze handles, and two screws labeled I, two pieces of M2 that connect to the door magnet, and two hinges with screws labeled J. For this step 19, the doors are labeled 12 and 13. The hinges are placed on the large holes and are to be attached with screws. On the other side of the door, I'm going to remove the plastic film. Then you can install the brass handle. The last part is installing the metal that connects to the magnet on the furniture. To connect the doors, the screws go in the ovals. This makes it easy for you to adjust the door so that it closes smoothly. In step 20, there are going to be two light strips. The long light strip goes on the left and the short goes on the right. The lights come with an adhesive, but you can also secure them with parts G and H. Step 21 simply connects the lights to the USB cable. Step 22, we are installing our outlet. The cable through the hole, and then use two pieces of screws labeled E. 23, there are some stickers provided in a bag labeled L. The stickers can be used on the top shelf to give the furniture a more uniform look. Now step 24, we are going to install the electric fireplace. For step 24, I have to remove the silver screws from the sides of the fireplace. After removing the screws, you can carefully remove the glass cover, but you have to be careful to unplug the LED light. For step 25, we gently pick up the fireplace and place it in the furniture. Now we secure it using six black screws. Step 26. At this time, we can place our crystals. Then we plug in our LED cables and hook on the front glass of the fireplace. After that, you can secure the cover with the two silver screws on each side. Now I'm plugging everything in. It is time to enjoy. The LED lights can change colors and are dimmable. To turn on the fireplace, there is a button on the top right. The LED lights in the entertainment system have a lot of different color combinations. The lights are dimmable, the fireplace gives off heat, and it has a timer. This entertainment system can combine with any decoration. Most importantly, it has an ETL safety certification. What a great product. Thank you, Breeze Heat.